Oh, this is my pressure washer. Um, I let my let vinegar sit in this gas tank that's over there. Right now, it's being blown dry with a leaf blower on low speed. I let it sit in there for about over a week. Um, and I found there was a lot more rust in the tank than I thought. There wasn't any rust like on the bottom, but it was up on the sides. Which makes sense, that's where the condensation would be. Um, so I put like a gallon of awesome cleaner in there with water and I switched it around with the steam, with the uh, pressure washer. Then I went over it with a hose. I didn't get all the rust out of it, but I got all the loose rust out of it. And now, after I rinsed it out several times, this is my trick for um, just a leaf blower on low. So you can feel the air coming out of here right now. And that'll blow, that'll dry that off and I'll just put it in different directions. Like I'll face it that way, you know. It's only on low, it's not on high. Got to dry it out really quick. And then I got the red coat over here. Because I only coated a couple five gallon cans on the bottom. It's right there, this stuff. Just like a half a can. It's not going to do the whole tank, but it, you know. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to buy some more red coat for the shit, I'm going to get it. So, it's cool that I got time to do this because I don't need to use the car. And uh, that's a nice trick for, uh, you know, getting your gas tank thoroughly dry after you wash it out. Um, probably the best thing would have been to do was to freaking put like five gallons of vinegar with five gallons of water. And really let it swish around here. I didn't think I didn't notice any rust till like I was swishing it around every day a little bit, but there was rust up on the side. I didn't notice that. It was apparent later on. But it'll be much, much, much better than what it was. And um, the red coat might cover the whole tank what I got left there, so good enough. Well, that looks pretty clean. Ain't perfect, but it's got a little bit of light rust, but this stuff covers light rust, no problem. So, anyway, that's this stuff. It's going in there right now, and I'll be swishing it around, hitting it with the leaf blower, and I already ordered the, uh, just ordered the sanding unit, so that'll be coming in pretty soon. I'll probably get that in a few days. And the rest, I'll be sandblasting underneath the car, and I got my new hose in for the, um, what do you call it? The sandblaster right here so that's a new hose which is a USA hose it won't fall apart like a Chinese one and uh, we start sandblasting in the back there and underneath and uh, painting everything up chemically cleaning it and uh, I got a new fuel line so then I just button the thing back up and uh, fix the floor in the back and yahoo okay so I wire wheeled or nylon wheel the um, you know, a little loose paint off of there and I started going over it with some starting fluid in a rag and I said whoa there's still a lot of dirt on there so I used um, awesome cleaner <laughs> just went over with a brush rinsed it off good so now we're gonna dry it and after it dries we're gonna paint it with um, rust reforming primer um, silver enamel and then the part where the straps are, it's going to get a uh, truck bed lined over that too. So this is the bottom where the straps are, one here and one there. And if it's truck bed lined right there, you're not going to wear through that and rust it. So that's what we want to do. Make sure it's good. Oh, well, we already got it coated all with the uh, rust killing or rust reforming black primer. You can see this tank must have been patched one time. I don't know when. I didn't patch it. I've had this thing for uh, since 1991, so I've had it 26 years, so I didn't patch it. Uh, I'm not even sure if the thing was ever out of the freaking car. It doesn't seem like it was, but maybe it was to patch it, but it's the whole, there's no leaks. So, but you know, with the, when we flip it over, now I got it upside down. It's coating all around, and we're going to put the blower on it to get this dried up real quick. It's sunny out, it's warm, and then we're going to paint it with the, uh, 
you know, the silver stuff here in a second. Okay, so it's all painted up with the silver enamel. Um, professional. <laughs> High performance enamel. Well, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I did the two black stripes on there with, um, that's where the straps are going. And the straps themselves will be coated with that stuff too. Uh, truck bed lining. And uh, so where it's touching, you know, this would be dried up because I probably ain't going to put it in there for another week. And because I want to make sure that red coat's all dry and stuff. And everything else is cleaned up underneath on the opposite side of the tank. But, uh, yeah, this should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. I'm kind of glad I did this because uh, it makes it vehicle more reliable. Uh, we're changing out the hoses in the back there. Killing all the freaking rust that that was behind this gas tank, that surface rust. And wrapping it up, you know what I mean? So, it's good to have some warm weather. <laughs> it's freaking, it's cool yesterday. Okay, so I flipped it over. Um, just put another coat of uh, silver paint on here. These are also been, this goes up against the frame rails. And this part has been um, truck bed lined. And I put silver paint over it again. This has been rust killing primer, rust converting primer, silver paint, rubber gasket goes in there. Uh, the red coat is looking good down in there. Can't see it there well, but I flat did look at it before. And uh, if you can see it, yeah, probably you could see it. You can see it from that angle. It's coated in there nice. So, yeah, so this should be uh, better than new better than the factory so you know, one step um, it won't take me long to clean up it's gonna take me a little while is it get the rust bit in the back of the floor but maybe not uh, it's when I get on the roll on something I'm pretty fast sometimes and sometimes you know when I stop when I stop I stop for a while now to get rid get these uh, some of these body screws loose they were really rusted in there plus the heads were all rusted in and stuff like that um, you can see it fits on this uh, screwdriver right here this is an air hammer and it's attached to a shake and brake tool so you hit it like this and it's going to do it a little bit and you turn it by hand it's hammering it works a lot different from um, an impact wrench an impact is hammering in a rotating fashion this is hammering straight in and when you have a screw it's hitting right on the head and it breaks it loose like magic, like butter, no matter what the hell. It doesn't work on bolts unless it's got a flange. If you can get a socket on a flange and then it's hammering the bolt down, or you got a real shallow socket and you're hammering the bolt down, it should work. But it works great on screws because you're hammering down. It won't work with an air hammer. It worked great on these because these are really rusted in here. So, took the, and I found there's a lot of uh, a lot more rust back here. What I'm gonna do is ch chassis saver. A lot simpler. Well, after pulling up the rug and uh, getting out the screws and stuff, you can see there's a lot of surface rust down here. And uh, the way this is going to get cured is with um, well chassis saver, which is the same as Pour 15 paint over rust perfect application for it because it knocked off all the loose rust I'm gonna go back here and get all the loose rust with that chassis saver and then we'll grind off the chassis saver after it dries and we'll rivet and uh, use um, what do you call that panel adhesive um, after I grind off the chassis saver and make some panels but first I'm gonna get this all with chassis saver along the seams where this rusted was actually because there's a body seam back there you can see that white light coming through along that line the vertical line almost vertical line uh, when that body putty came out of there allowed water to come in here and lay in the corner so that's what did it and it got down on the floor uh, so we'll take care of this right now and of course on this side we got a couple of pinholes which could be after I put the chassis saver on it I could grind them down and um, this looks like a drilled hole. <laughs> I don't know what that was for. I could grind them down and put a little of um, the panel adhesive. The panel adhesive is fine for pin doing pinholes. You see you got a hole back here, right there. There's a hole back there. There's a hole right here. So this is going to be some panels. But first we're going to coat it all with chassis saver. And, you know, once the chassis saver's on there, that'll stop any further rust. 
but we want to stop the water infiltration too so we'll be putting the patch panels in this is going okay I'm not going to pull all the rug out but this is only the part where it flows down into you know the hump should be okay and all that kind of crap so anyway well you can see the floor is all coated now and I gotta let it dry for like a good 24 hours or so then I'll go um, you know, grind off the chassis saver around where the holes are and we'll patch those up uh, with panel adhesive and rivets it's not going to be pretty but it's going to be water reproof and I'll probably go over this with a coating of um, uh, rubberized undercoating too uh, so it'll it'll fill in any kind of cracks but the panel adhesive should do it with the rivets so that's covered up well and underneath uh, I decided not to sandblast I just used the uh, chassis saver I scraped off the rust you know loose rust because this stuff this stuff actually adheres a lot better if you're putting it over rust as long as it's not loose rust as long as it's uh, grippy stuff this shit really lasts forever man it'll be on there 10 years from now if they did this in the car it was brand new it would have never did this in a million years anyway and you can see I got the two um, I don't know what you call them piece of frame where the um, gas tank rests up against they're all chassis savored there's all chassis saver on these uh, straps on the opposite side of the frame on the two frame rails going this way both sides and uh, I'm going to get on the inside of them with um, Cosmoline spray Cosmoline to get inside there so this is my gallon can of chassis saver still plenty left and we'll go seal that up and um, you know as soon as I get the uh, sending unit I just bolt this crap right back up and with the brand new hoses and stuff and everything should work fine and um, I don't have to worry about uh, putting gas in the car because I'm not going to be welding those floors in the back there I'm going to be using panel adhesive with rivets and actually somebody will say that's stupid and whatever but you know what that's very 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 strong it's not structural just a couple little holes back there and uh, when you have the panel adhesive sandwiched between two pieces of metal there's there's way less chance of water infiltration than there is with wells it's it's strong as crap especially if you're adding pop rivets to it it's ridiculously strong you know some will say it's glue but it's when you add rivets to it it's it's strong as shit